All right, let's do our warm ups and some stretches for the hips and legs. So, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Take a moment to sink into your feet evenly. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up and relax your arms. Take a moment in mountain pose, just focusing inward, drawing in awareness and exhaling stress. And just with that inner focus, let's do our warm-ups. Bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind you. Bring the hands down toward the floor and lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Remember, stretch your neck. Spread your toes. Exhale over. And deepen into that position as much as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones. Get those legs stretching a little bit. Hands toward your head so those shoulders get a little movement. And then bend your knees slightly, keep the chin slightly in as you wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up into a back bend. Heart high, head back, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms, take a moment just feeling those shoulders, spine, everything getting a little activated. And again, arms at shoulder level, Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hand behind you. Stretch through the spine into the upper body back bend and pivot over. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like, lifting the sitting bones for those hamstrings to stretch along the back of your legs. And again, when you're ready to come up, slightly bend your knees and then lift your heart. And again, as you get into your back bend, drop your shoulders, stretch your whole spine. And inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, just feel your body a little bit more activated. Bringing one hand to your side, the other arm at shoulder level. Turn the palm up, bring your arm by your ear, and we'll do our side stretches. Keep both shoulders facing the front along with both hips as you lean to the side. So take a moment there, just pushing down into the foot you're leaning away from, sliding that hand along your leg down, maybe a little bit more. Feel the ribs stretch and the side open. And then inhale back upright, release that arm, feel the difference, and get ready for the opposite side. Arm out, palm to the ceiling, Hand over your shoulder, but remember, keep your shoulder away from your ear. Stretch the fingers away and lean to the side, no twist. So don't lean forward or backward and just relax. Push the foot down, you're leaning away from for that extra oomph and reach out through the head and hand. Inhale up, exhale up and down. Feel the difference again. Noticing both sides a little bit more open. And open your spine for our twist warm up. So again, stretching sitting bones down, crown high. Bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep the shoulders down. Palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and just clasp your elbows. <clears throat> arms by your ears and stretch apart through the whole spine as you turn. Take a breath. Pivot over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can. Spread your toes, deepen as far as you'd like. Lift those sitting bones, straighten your legs for a little stretch through. And then inhale your way up, lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and pull your elbows back. So a nice upper body back bend when you're twisted. Remember, especially do not work that low back. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms, balancing things out, spreading your toes, stretching your spine, and turning to the opposite side. Another breath, weight on both feet as you pivot on over. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Let your arms relax. Lift your sitting bones. 
and staying in the twist, inhaling your way up. And again, a nice upper body back down. Take a few moments there, just breathing and stretching. And inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders stay down, fingertips up into extended mountain. Feel those feet supporting you. Keep your arms next to your ears, pivot at your hips, keep the arms by your ears as you come parallel to the floor. Stretch the sitting bones back and the crown of the fingers forward. Shoulders toward your waist. Spread out through your toes. Everything straight, elbows, spine, and the legs. And then drop into ragdolls, still lifting those sitting bones. Stretch the back of your body, lift your toes, bring your fingers under or clasp the big toes, and go into gorilla. So straightening your back, getting it as flat as you can, with the head coming forward and the sitting bones back. Stretch the spine, stretch the legs. And then releasing your hands, another roll up from the bottom of the spine, just coming back up into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feel the spine, the shoulders, your whole body, noticing how it's been working today. Spread your toes. Oh, let's turn the toes slightly out, bend your knees. We'll do another little twist. So hands above the knees, stretch the spine long and straight. And then as you exhale, pull the hip you're turning toward up slightly as you bring your shoulder down toward the opposite knee and come into a twist. Bring your hips, ribs, shoulder, turn looking toward the side, whole body, not just your neck. Stretch it out and lengthen, maybe go a little deeper. And then again, turning back to the center, straighten things out. Keep those knees slightly bent. Remember, no pressure in your hands, just position, stretch it out. Exhale, turn, lift that hip you're turning toward as you bring the shoulder down toward the knee. And you're turning your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder. Looking to the side, stretching your head and sitting bones apart. Everything moving into that gentle twist. And again, exhale back to the center, round your back, tucking in your chin, and again, coming back up into mountain pose. Feel your spine a little bit more energized. And let's go to the wall, do a little wall stretch. So I take a moment to breathe as you get about a foot away from the wall. Bring your hands right in front of your shoulders. And then bring them up the length of the palms, so a little bit higher. And take a good step back with your feet, another foot or two. And then pushing into your hands gently, evenly, elbows straight, bring your chest down, but your head up toward your hands. And then push your sitting bones back so that your hips end up over your ankles as much as they can. And just keep sinking the ribs down, the chest down. Getting that nice upper body back then opening through the shoulders and stretching the legs as much as you can. Put those sitting bones going back, crown going up, chest going down. Feel the arms, feel the shoulders, everything opening. And the heel strings, back of the legs stretching just gently. And then bend your knees slightly. Take a couple steps toward the wall. Release your arms. And then bring your right hand, the left hand to the wall. Turn it to the left. Bring your forearm in onto the wall. So the hand and arm are on the wall. And then turn your body away so that shoulder gets a little bit more open. Take a breath. As you exhale and relax, keep moving those feet around, maybe a little bit more, getting that shoulder a little bit more work. And then as you exhale, turn back to the wall, and bring the other hand to the wall, and the fingertips out 90 degrees, forearm to the wall as you walk slightly in, 
and then keep walking around, opening the shoulder only as much as your shoulder wants. Remember, don't go too far. Never want to overdo anything in yoga. Take a breath. Just relax. And again, on an exhalation, turn back to the wall, fingertips up and release. So a little bit more stretched out through the arms and the legs. Coming back to your mat, into mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing up toward the ceiling, a little thumbs back, and upper body back bend, bend back bend. Exhale, pivoting over, drop into ragdoll, walk back, relax, straighten your knees, bring your hands up under your knees on your shins, and straighten your spine. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight, sitting bones and crowns, stretching apart in that halfway up stretch. And then exhale, release, bend your knees, and again, roll back up into mountain pose. Have a step to the end of the mat. And again, hands to your heart. Inhale, coming up. Swan dive forward and drop into your leg. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, everything nice and straight. And then bend your knees slightly, hands to the floor under your shoulders, fingertips or palms down. Remember, you can also use those blocks to raise the floor if you want. We're stepping the right foot into a lunge. So nice big step back. Front knee over your ankle. Remember, never have those. Knees going beyond your toes and sink your hips both straight down toward the floor, coming into that lunge position. You're on the base of the toes, not the toes themselves behind you. Push back through your heel, out through the crown, and then we're going to bring the knee down toward the floor. You can pad under it if you need to and slide the toes back. See if you can be above the knee just slightly so you're not really putting pressure on the kneecap. And then sink the hips down a little more. Stay there if that's good. Or bring your hands onto that front knee and your body up so you can sink down a little deeper into that hip stretch. So you're stretching through that front of the thigh, just relaxing. Make sure this knee isn't pushing forward beyond your toes on that front leg. And then bringing your hands under your shoulders to the floor. We're going to tuck the toes under behind you and come onto the ball of the foot area again. Push back through the heel in your lunge. Try up your hand and step into a down dog. So feet hip width apart, hips going up, and chest toward your legs. The arms are straight. The head goes toward your hands. Plant those palms. Get the palms and fingers connected. Lift your hips. Whole spine straight and legs straight, sinking the heels toward the floor. They may not make it, that's perfectly okay. You just want to be in a straight line from your head to your hips and your hips to your heels as you can. And then shift forward into a plank. So coming as straight as you can, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders. And then bring your knees down to the floor. Bend your elbows and bring your chest down toward the floor. And then slide your body forward and all the way onto your belly into a little low cobra space position. So the hands are not supporting you. They're just under your shoulders, elbows in towards your sides. Ribs are on the floor. Don't crunch your neck too much so you don't want to look too far forward, just a little bit. And stretch the back of your neck as you're in that. Cobra position. Take a moment, feel the back bend. Let the hips and legs relax. Exhale any tension. And then pushing into your hands, then push back into child pose. So hips back by your heels, hands extended forward. Stretch the arms and the shoulders, head down toward the floor. Extended child pose. And then keeping the hands there, pivot up, 
And again, we're going to go into down dog. So tuck your toes under. Roll onto the ball of the foot, base of the toe area, and push your legs all over your ribs back all the way into your legs. So your arms are next to your ears, ears next to your arms. And then push your hips up straight to the ceiling. Sink your heels down and your head towards your heels. So again, you're in that V-shaped position as much as you can, everything straight. Take a moment and breathe. And we're going to step the right foot forward between your hands. So you can listen to the instructions or you can just do it. We're going to come onto the balls of the feet, lifting the heels. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale and step a good step forward. If the foot doesn't get right under your um, upper body, just take your hand on your heel and pull it forward. Push into your lunge position, letting that left hip sink and looking forward. Shoulders square. And then stepping into the right foot, bring the back one up and relax and let go. Take a moment there. Tuck in your chin. Just relax, everything releasing. And hands together. Inhale. Bring the hands toward the ceiling. And into a nice back bend so we can go the other side. I'm turning around so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so chest high, shoulders down, hands back, head stretching through the neck. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Again, pivoting on over in directing. Hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Shoulder, shoulder blades back towards your waist. Sitting bones and crowns stretching away from each other. Everything lengthening. And then bending your knees, bring your hands down under your shoulders. And the left foot steps back into your lunge. So again, front knee over your ankle. Make sure it's not going out to the side of the mat or in toward the other hand. And right above, knee right above the ankle. Shoulders even, looking slightly forward, pressing back through that heel behind you, bringing the hip toward the floor as much as it wants to go. So your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder line up as much as they can. And then bringing the knee down to the floor, sliding your toes back, coming into that lunge a little deeper with the knee on the floor. Staying there <clears throat> or bringing your hands up onto the front knee, head up toward the ceiling. And then sinking the hips so you get that extra stretch through that front of your thigh. So just deepen as much in whichever position you're in. Relax your shoulders. No pressure in your arms and hands. Remember, just position. Take a breath. And then again, bringing the hands under your shoulders onto the floor. Press into the fingers and palms. Tuck the toes under behind you and come onto the ball of the foot, back into that lunge. And then step the front foot back, coming into your down dog. Make your feet hip width apart, sitting bones going up, chest pulling back toward your legs, arms right next to your ears, ears right next to your arms, head reaching toward your hands, everything as straight as you can in that V shape. Down dog position. Take a moment, stretching through the legs, thinking those heels toward the floor, giving a good stretch on your back of your body. The spine is straight, sitting bones going up and head toward your hands. And hands are really planted, supporting you well. So make sure the fingers and the base of the fingers and heels of the palms, everything are connecting and supporting. Take a breath, sink the heels, maybe a little more, lift the sitting bones up and back, and keep those chests going toward your thighs. Everything straight, shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a breath, stretch it out. And then lifting your heels, bending your knees, bring the knees to the floor, bend your elbows, bring the chest down toward the mat, and then slide forward, belly to the mat. Coming into that little low sphinx cobra. And again, just stretch the back of your neck. Don't lift the chin too far forward. 
Shoulders, shoulder blades towards your waist. Remember, the hands aren't supporting you. They're doing nothing, just supporting, right? Just positioning, never pushing into them. In the cobra. Let the spine do the work. Hips sinking, lower back relaxing, and the lower body doing nothing. Nice little back bend, just bringing the shoulders down, shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a moment, just breathing, and then tuck your toes under and push into your hands. Oh, coming into, let's go into child's pose again. So go ahead and sink back, hips to your heels. Keep those arms out in front, stretching the shoulders. Bring the forehead slightly down. It doesn't have to go all the way if it doesn't want to, or it can if you love it. Just take a moment and breathe. And then check your hands right in front of the shoulders. Make sure they're planted, pivoting up onto your hands and knees, coming into our down dog again. So tuck your toes under, roll back onto the ball of the foot, lifting your knees slightly off the floor, and then pulling your chest all the way towards your thighs. Lift your hips, straightening your knees, sink your heels toward the mat, stretch your head toward your hands, and come into your down dog V shape. So get those cores activated, push up through the sitting bones and back toward the wall behind you. And again, head toward one direction, sitting bones opposite, shoulder blades toward your waist. And of course, heels toward the floor, getting those hamstrings stretching a little bit. Plant the palms, really get connected. Remember, this is a relaxing pose when you're doing sun salutations. And take a moment and breathe. Once again, we're going to bring the left foot this time in between the hands. So again, you can just do it, or you can lift the heels, shift those shoulders, inhale, and step a good step with the left foot between your hands. Sink the hip toward the floor, coming into your lunge. Feel the stretch on the right thigh and pressing back through the heel, out through the head. Remember, the hands are positioning. They're really not supporting you at this point, just both feet. Make sure the knee isn't sinking out or in or too far forward. And then push off that back foot, coming into your ragdoll, and just release. Take a moment, just hanging. You can pull in deeper if you love it. <clears throat> and then arms to the front. Straighten your knees, straighten your spine, bring your arms out at shoulder level, and pivot up. Bring your hands together overhead, looking up, and to your heart, into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feeling your whole body a little bit more stretched through the hips, through the legs, shoulders having worked, just relax. And hands to your heart. Inhale, bringing the hands up. Again, swan dive forward, pivot all the way over. Hands up under your shins into our halfway up stretch. Stretch the back of your neck, stretch the shoulder blades back and the crown forward, sitting bones back, knees straight. And then bending your knees, come into child pose all the way on the mat. Take a moment and breathe. Just relaxing. And then sit up on your heels, <clears throat> slide off slightly, and come into stack position. So go ahead and press out through the heels, back with your shoulders, up with the crown, activate your core, and relax. Feet hip width apart, sitting by slightly behind you. And we'll warm up the hip a little bit more. Foot to your thigh, letting the knee come down. Just relax. Again, you can add weight with your hands, but remember, never push. We don't want to overdo any stress or strain in the muscles. We want to let them relax. Knee coming down as much as it likes. You can remember to bring the leg over to the side, but keep the knee and toes up if you do. With that slight more opening through the hips. Take a breath, everything relaxing. 
And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands, just work it back and forth, or pull it in with your arms wrapped around. Feel the outside of your hip getting a little bit more work. And then as you exhale, release that foot, and we'll do the other one. So bring the foot up and let the knee come down. And again, just relax. Some days are tighter, some sides are tighter. Remember, we're creatures of habit. Different days are different. Do what's right for your body today. Just relaxing, exhaling, tension out. And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands or wrapping around, work back and forth. And as always, doing what's right for your body in this position, staying there in the gentle version, or deepening with the leg higher or closer if you like. Keep the spine straight, keep the core active, keep the crown reaching up and the shoulders down. And then exhale back into staff position. And let's dive our dolphin once before we move to the mat. So bring your right foot to your inner left thigh and your left heel near your left hip. Not under it, just knee to the front. Stretch up through the spine so you can twist, exhaling and turning toward the right knee, the first one you did. Hands on your leg or the floor, bring those ribs in, round. Exhale under the water, you're the dolphin. And then as you inhale, coming face to the front crown and up to the ceiling, stretch your crown back and away. A little back bend as you come up. So you're the dolphin diving under on the exhalations and inhaling to the sun and the sky as you come up. Just a few times, rotating through that back motion. And the next time you're at the top, pause, exhale to the center, and release back into staff position. Take a moment, feeling your spine a little more activated once more, and we'll do the other side. Left foot to your inner right thigh, knee out to the side. Bring the heel back on the right leg, back near your hip. Stretch up through the spine, exhale, turning. So remember that hip comes slightly up as you turn toward the knee. Core activated as you dive under on the exhalation. And then rotating forward, lifting your heart, dropping those shoulders into a back bend as you come up on the inhalations. Diving your dolphin playfully as much as you like today. Just following your breath as you dive under on the exhalations and inhale on your way up, just like swimming. And as you get to the top again, just pause, turning back to center, releasing your legs and bringing them to the end of the mat into staff position. Getting ready to activate that core and roll all the way onto the mat. So coming all the way down, just let your shoulders relax and your body sink. Exhale any tightness. Let the shoulders soften and bring them to shoulder level, palms up in T position. Sitting bones slightly toward your heel, back down, and heels up right next to your sitting bones. Press the back gently to the floor as you lift your feet, coming into your feet off the floor, getting ready for a twist, staying there with the legs next to each other, or crossing over if you like that low back to get a little more. And bring the knees over toward the side, turning your head to the opposite side, keeping those shoulders down on the floor. So feel your twist as deeply as your body wants to go, and palms up or down your choice. And again, just breathe and relax into it, letting those knees come down for that low back twist, and your head turn as much as your neck wants or needs as well. Honor your body, do what's right for you. Keep the shoulders down, lots of middle back twists there. Just breathe and relax. And of course, we need to release that already. So heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Cross the legs the other way if you are crossed. And otherwise, just straighten it out and roll the knees over, hip level on the other side. Head turning, neck area twist. 
Knees coming down, lower back twist, and shoulders down for that middle back as well. Hands palms up or down, just your preference on this one. And again, just breathe and relax, letting the knees come down. Remember, always exhaling, letting the spine release and relax as those knees work into their position. And the neck turns as much or as little as you need and want. But of course, we need our relaxation. So go ahead, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, uncross if you are crossed, and bring your feet all the way out into corpse position. Hands coming near your hips next to you. Shoulders down, lower body relaxing, belly softening, everything just sinking deep into that surface beneath you for our relaxation. Deep breaths in, exhale, and let everything go. Soften your shoulders, your spine, your belly, your hips and your legs. We worked a lot of body parts today, so just let them all release and relax. Pull your head side to side, getting that neck release, shoulders sinking down toward the mat. And just allow your body with each exhalation to grow heavier, sinking deeper into the earth support, letting your body go. And with each breath, just deepen into your awareness, the peace within. Body relaxing, let your mind just drift. No need to think of your body or any other content of your thoughts. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. Forget the past, no need to anticipate the future, just thoughts disappearing without attention. Allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Focus inward on the peace within. Just allow the peace to fill you, filling your body and your mind. Just be peace. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing, take all the time you have. If so, it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin breathing gently, drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body however feels good for you today. Maybe circle your ankles and your arms, your wrists, your breath. Just breathing and stretching as feels good for you. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, setting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your butt. Wrap your arms around in that appreciative yoga hug, however feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your day today. Thanks for joining me.